I've been using the TomTalk Navigator for about the last four months and it's quickly become one of my new favorite travel bags. Big comfortable shoulder straps make this work great as a travel backpack and then a huge side opening main compartment gives you easy packability like a duffel. Add to that an extremely reasonable price tag and the TomTalk Navigator doesn't get as much attention as I think it deserves. I've been hesitant to test this bag because of the large 40 liter capacity. However, the listed dimensions on the website suggest this bag may be a little bit smaller. I've taken this bag on a few flights so far and I know it fits as a carry-on, but it's a little bit too big to fit as a personal item. It will likely fit under a lot of airline seats, but it's not gonna fit in the sizer box. I'm curious what the actual capacity is on this. So to test it, I'll fill the bag with packing peanuts and transfer them here into my marked container. Fully packed out right now with peanuts. You can overpack this bag. I tried to get it as full as I can. So as close to the listed dimensions, which I found to be fairly accurate. It's a little over 20, 21 inches long by about 13 inches wide at the widest spot here. And packed out, I have it about nine inches deep. So just as I suspected, we're coming in a little bit short. You could probably stuff 40 liters in here if you wanted to overpack it like an overstuffed pillow. However, packed normally, this thing is gonna be more like a 35 liter pack. As far as the design quality materials go, the Navigator's not gonna win any design awards. It's kind of a boxy, rectangular looking bag with kind of a luggage aesthetic. It's also in the budget price range made from what I'd consider to be mid-tier quality materials and hardware. They don't list the specific fabric they use on this bag. However, it really reminds me of the 1680 denier fabric that they use on air backpacks. However, this is a little bit smoother and a little bit thinner. The hardware is also decent YKK, so that's good. They're locking on the laptop, but not on all the other pockets. The hardware here, they use these no-name nylon adjusters and buckles that seem to be sturdy enough. Now looking at the exterior features on the TomTalk Navigator, the main focus on this bag is really just a large volume, easy to pack interior compartment. However, there are some features on the outside of the bag for added organization. There's two pockets, front and top. There's two side water bottle pockets, luggage pass-through sleeve, external laptop compartment, and four compression straps. This top pocket is kind of hidden behind this flap. It's a good size, it takes up this full front panel on the top of the bag. However, it's very thin, so it doesn't have a ton of volume. Same thing with this front pocket. It's this front panel on the bag, side access zipper. Again, it's fairly large, but it's also really, really thin. It doesn't have any depth or really a whole lot of volume. These water bottle pockets are a bit on the smallish side as far as the depth goes. However, when you combine them with these side straps, they actually work pretty good. It's this kind of stretchy lay flat design when you're not using it, stretches out to expand. And if you want to use this kind of compression strap here, it really helps to keep your water bottle in place. As far as size goes, any of these kind of slimmer water bottles are going to fit just fine. The pockets are different widths though on this bag for some reason. So on this back one, it's tight, but you can fit a one liter Nalgene. However, on the front side of the bag, I just can't quite get it in there. These compression straps do a good job, cinch your bag down. The ones on the back here, you can kind of just keep these permanently attached, really not in the way of anything, unless you put something in the side water bottle pocket. The ones on the front are gonna be in the way of the main zipper. So you're just gonna have to unclip them every time you open the bag. But I think it's a good trade off because these things work really well. Last external feature I'll show you is the laptop compartment here. It has an interesting dual access design that I think offers good protection without taking up a ton of space or weight. When the bag's standing up, it's easy to just unzip the top of this pocket. You can access your laptop right here from the top. However, the zipper does also open completely to a lay flat design. The laptop and tablet over here and kind of a tech organizer on this side. This larger sleeve, designed for a 17, easily fits my 15 inch Dell with room to spare, Velcro strap to keep it from shifting around. It does offer some decent protection, false bottom here, some padding on the front, as well as a really thick padding on the back. However, there really isn't a whole lot as far as side protection. This side of the bags, one zippered pocket for charge cords or cables. And then the access thing that I was talking about two red tabs here you can pull these open up access into the main compartment 
so you can get into here and your tech from the same side without having to flip the bag around. Another view here on that tech laptop tablet sleeve. You can see this thing doesn't take up a ton of room, but it does offer some decent padding, especially here on the back side with kind of two foam pads and the back padding here. You can see it doesn't have a frame sheet, so it's not gonna have that extra kind of shock protection, but I think this offers decent protection without taking up a ton of room in your pack. Now coming around to the carry system on the Navigator, this uses a fairly simple strap design, relies mostly on just big, thick, comfortable shoulder straps and thick back padding for carry comfort. They use a standard open cell foam padding. It's thick, soft, comfortable with a good air mesh ventilation on the back. This back padding is basically the same material and fabric, kind of four soft, squishy panels here with some good air ventilation here in the middle. It does come with a nice sliding sternum strap, really easy to adjust, slide up and down. However, you're not gonna get any features that you sometimes get in more expensive travel backpacks. There's no hip belt here, there's no top load adjusters, and these straps aren't stowable. There is, however, a fairly large luggage patch through sleeve if you wanna put this thing over the handle on a rolling luggage. The only other way to carry the bag are the carry handles. This top one, really basically the same thing as the shoulder straps. It's thinner, but just thick, wide, padded, comfortable. This one here over on the side is basically just a thin nylon strap. You can carry this around for a little bit, but really this is more for just kind of pulling the bag in and out of overheads. Now let's have a look at the interior components on the TomTok Navigator. This is one of my favorite things about this bag, just a really large, open, easy to pack duffel style compartment. Once you get these clips out of the way, opens around here like a big C from the side and just flops open to just one really large compartment with virtually nothing else going on inside of the bag. So there's no luggage tie-down straps, there's no pockets, there's really almost nothing in here, just a big, open, easy to pack compartment. One thing you'll notice here in the bottom, there is a hard panel here to give you some extra protection and help the bag to stand up. And then as you can see, this is the zipper pocket access from that tech compartment back here. The zippers are actually on the other side, so it's really not designed to be accessed from this side of the bag. You're really not even gonna be able to get to it because all your gear is gonna be in the way. The advantage of this style that I like is just the simplicity, focus on large interior volume, storage capacity, rather than a bunch of compartments and needless pockets that just take up space and weight. It makes this bag really easy to pack, really versatile packing style. You can do almost anything you want in here. I have these two Peak Design packing cubes. This is the medium and the small. And those are gonna fit basically perfectly right in the bottom of the bag. And you can see there's still plenty of room here on top. I have a pouch. I have a packable day pack and my toiletry bag and then kind of a lightweight jacket. These pockets aren't huge, but they're still plenty large enough. They're kind of chargers, sunglasses, cords, easy to access gear. And then I'm gonna put an umbrella, one side pocket, and a water bottle here on the other side. This is what the Navigator looks like, fully packed. All that gear I had in there, it does stand up on its own pretty easily with that flat bottom. And I just weighed this with my luggage scale. It's about 14.6 pounds or 6.6 .6 kilograms. What it looks like on me, fully packed. Again, kind of just a big boxy rectangular bag, but comfortable, big thick shoulder straps, really easy to carry around even with decent weight in there. Big thick back padding, decently comfortable carry. In summary, the TomTok Navigator is an awesome minimalist travel bag with a very reasonable price tag. If you like the carry comfort on a travel backpack but the ease of packability of a duffel, this is gonna give you the best of both worlds. But the only downside on this bag is the aesthetic. I don't think it looks bad, but it does favor form over function a little bit. The bag looks a little bit boxy and it can flop a little bit if it's not fully packed. This is an inexpensive bag. The quality I think is good for the price. The materials, construction, and hardware, they're decent, but this isn't gonna come close to bags, much more expensive travel backpacks that cost two to three times as much. 
I hope you enjoyed this review on the TomTok Navigator 40 liter travel backpack. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.